Hello everyone, welcome back. I hope we are well. Today we're going to be talking dresses, specifically uh, wedding guest dress idea outfits. Um, I'm going to a wedding in August and um, believe it or not, I find dressing formally and for special occasions sometimes quite awkward and I don't really enjoy it. <laughs> so today I'm going to show you some new dresses that I've picked up with the intention of trying them on and sending some back or sending them back. And I've also got a couple of dresses that I already own. Obviously, some people might just be like, just keep wear those ones. Don't shop. It's kind of like a two birds, one stone bid, you know? You can help me pick a dress whilst I also show you some lovely dresses for if you are in the same predicament as me, you don't know what to wear and you feel just like, what, what do I do? So, so being a female that is covered in tattoos and to, like historically has, well, has been quite, mm, I hate going into this because I always feel so cringe talking about it. Um, historically been quite alternative and like not particularly massively stereotypically feminine um, whatever that even means you know but you know what I mean like floral dresses and stuff like that I've always been kind of like edgy oh my god I'm so edgy I'm so edgy always and I've always had like kind of my own flair for things and that's why I find dress buying clothes formal wear clothes really difficult because I think that actually there isn't much to choose from really that ticks the pickles tickles the pickles and um makes me feel like I'm still kind of expressing myself at the same time like I don't feel like I necessarily have to express myself all the time I like there to be an essence of me in my clothing my hair, my tattoos, my makeup, my piercings, they all they all work together in harmony and then you throw in some random floor, formal dress and then you just it just confuses matters. It just doesn't feel right. It doesn't sit naturally. Anyway, so I got some dresses and um, I was bearing in mind my figure, my hair colour, um, what I think looks good on my body and what I enjoy to wear. So we're going to look at them now. Make some space for my example box right here. So dress number one is this gorgeous floaty dress. It's like a knitted material on the top and it's got really frilly bits, frilly foofy fits. It's like a tie-dye princess dress, but it's not tie-dye. It is lots of different colors, but there are also floral patterns on there and floral pictures. Um, it's very rainbowy and summery. I think it's gorgeous. I absolutely love this. It's got a cut out in the, in, the, in the sides here, which is quite interesting. Um, I was a bit nervous about that when I was buying it, but I gave it a go and I actually quite enjoy it. It rises at the front to, to show the feet, but it floats around so nice. It also reminds me a bit like a selkie dress, that kind of whimsical princessy fairy tale. I especially love it with the new long hair. Don't know if you noticed. <laughs> You can kind of wear it off shoulder as well. I definitely get like damsel in distress sort of vibes from this one. You know, I can definitely see myself running through the pouring rain, absolutely drenched, running after the love of my life to um, confess my un undying love for them whilst makeup and mascara is flushing over my cheeks and my emotions are in, out of control and then they turn and then we we... We kiss in a hot rain. That's what I get from this dress. The second dress is this. Okay, can I just can I just say that um, I didn't iron anything because I, a I can't iron and b um, I thought the steamer was going to be the studio, but it wasn't, and I didn't also didn't know what I was looking for, so it wasn't able to steam anything. So things a bit creased, right? Sorry, but this beautiful. It's like uh, perfect for an hourglass shape. It's a soft material, but it's not silk. With this gorgeous peach with these gold, huge flowers printed on them. I mean, they're not actually metallic, but with the combination of the kind of mustard and the yellow, it looks very gold. But um, I think it's quite a retro print. You, if these definitely could be made into curtains and like put up in, you know, your grand's living room. But I love how it goes around the neck here. I think that's super flattering. And then the little keyhole here, definitely needs titty tape i've got a little itty bitty titties and they just like to fly around sometimes they just like to escape little cheeky titties um so if i do keep this one definitely need some titty tape for them but i definitely felt quite vixen in this one sexy and i like it because i don't know i think 
as a tattooed woman with lots of obviously like floral tattoos and stuff i think that the pattern on it is somewhat um resembles to me like traditional floral tattoos as well so i really like that because it's sort of all in keeping with with that theme yeah I, th I think sometimes i find it difficult to wear particularly to wear particular dresses when you're so heavily tattooed because sometimes the juxtaposition is quite cool and it works and sometimes i just think you look like a f i don't like it i was gonna say like a fucking idiot but that's not nice but sometimes it just looks wrong and you almost feel like you're not in your own skin you're just sort of doing it for the sake of it you're you're, you're being put on a pedestal it doesn't feel very authentic um and i don't like feeling uncomfortable so i don't want to wear something that makes me feel like like that isn't in keeping with my style like, i still think you can be formal and still be yourself okay this one i actually wore you've probably seen before wore it to the bafta awards I've, I've, I've pulled it out again because a it was very popular amongst thou but b i did feel bloody good in it a same it's actually a very similar to the previous dress it's, 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 except this has got a, a very low back and there's a bit more hugging like figure hugging and there's crossover but it's got a very cool textured pattern, sort of hounds toothy, and this is fun because for those that aren't the biggest fan of wearing colors, it's perfect. And you can accessorize with colors to make it boom, 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 I want you in my room. And I suppose if you are, if you've got colored hair, it would be perfect, like purple, pink hair, because it's a nice monochrome base, so it's easy. So it's still, you're not gonna feel like you're clashing, but that, I think this would be very good for people with colored hair. And it's very comfortable and i really like this dress but obviously i've already worn it which is not a problem we can we re-wear these things we don't have to feel embarrassed about that but um is it an option for this wedding okay i don't know if people are going to agree with this option because it's all black at a wedding but some people just like black i like black and i think again i've worn my orange sandals with these and i think that kind of adds that pop but it's such a nice dress. This is a Topshop wraparound silk dress with all the frilly bits. Even if I don't say pick that dress, I think I'm still gonna keep it because I think it's actually a really great staple evening dress for like, you know, formal events and parties because it's actually so comfortable and easy to wear. And I think it, it can be like, it can be like the backup dress because it's really nice. It's quite elegant because it's a silky material. It's floaty. It hugs the figure really nice. It wraps around really nice. I just love how it sits on my shoulders. And um, I think it's just a very flattering dress. So even if even if you don't like it, um, I'm probably still going to bloody keep it, you know? Um, lovely dress. But yeah, I'd, I'd wear a black dress to a wedding. What are you going to do? Tell me I have to leave? This isn't the funeral, bitch. This is the wedding that's down the road. I know I know where I'm at. I'm just, I just love the dark side of life. This next dress, it looks very creased. And actually, this was the most expensive dress. And I thought it was gonna be the dress that I love the most, but I don't love it the most. But do you like it? Um, I think it's very expensive because of all the embroidery on it, which is beautiful. I'm, quite, I'm a bit unsure on the shape of it. So it's like, got these really cool sleeves. But it's got this cut out at the front, which isn't the end of the world, like it's nice. It kind of, the bottom, the skirt bit, just hugs the bottom of the body in a really weird way and it just highlights my tummy. And I, I mean, I don't really give a shit, but I, I think in terms of the, the rest of the, the top half, I don't think it they marry well together. I love the color of it though. And I did feel really nice in it. It would, it is a gorgeous dress. What do you think? What do you think? I don't have a problem. I think if it was ironed, it would definitely look way better. I love that it sits off the shoulder. I love all the embroidery. I love the sleeves. They are the coolest sleeves I think I've seen on a dress ever. Again, I think the big bold flowers with the embroidery, it looks very luxurious and very kind of um, somewhat vintage. But again, with the flowers and the embroidery, it's, um, again, I feel like tattoo. Like them sleeves, they just they're just amazing. They're enchanting. I feel like a fairy tale in it. 
Okay, and this is the final dress. This is one that I have already owned before. It's actually, I bought it for Christmas. Oh God, I've got an itchy arm. Um, the only thing, I love this dress, but the only thing I'm worried about is it's long sleeved and it's gonna be in the middle of August. I don't know if I'm gonna get too hot, but now that I've lost a bit of weight, it actually fits me perfect, like really nicely. I've really felt really good in this, actually filming this. Cause it's, yeah, I know the sleeves are long, but it's still quite airy. It's a short leg one. It's a short one. I do feel a bit, um, I would rather have my arms out than my legs. So if I'm having my legs out, I want my arms out as well. I think it's because, and I've got leg tattoos. I think having leg tattoos are quite is quite bold. So I kind of want to have my arms out just so I look balanced. I've got this big thing. I, I Maybe, I don't know what it is. I've got this complex about dressing up and trying to be formal and trying to look like a real lady and having laser tattoos. Like, I, I don't know whether I feel like people judge you. Like, oh, look at this women who are these tattoos trying to look nice well she will never look nice because she's done this to her body i don't know whether that's like subconsciously in my brain when i think about dressing up am i am i trying to parrot myself am i trying to look maybe i need to talk this through with therapy i don't know <laughs> i remember having a conversation with my therapist about how i don't feel like a real woman at times and the people on love island look like real women and they look older than me and they look like actual <laughs> like grown up women and I don't and he was like but are you a woman I went yes and he was like okay well there you go <laughs> I will shut down quite quickly about that um because I'll go and then I will stop thinking about that and I go you are a woman you fucking fool um anyway but no this dress is really fun and I love that it's like gold it's gold which is quite glamorous and cool and um I think it's very elegant and uh a very special occasion very very good for christmas time especially because when you put your arms out you do look like a star which i quite like about it but anyway those are the dresses i'll put the links to them in the description but please vote for your favorite one and um yeah that is that thank you so much for watching let's get interactive and help help a girl out see you later bye bye